Hai, good evening Perkenalkan, nama saya Arun Sudara Sapumi And I am a student in Indonesian Christian University of Toronto Nah, pada kesempatan kali ini Saya akan menjelaskan tentang Daily Speech Stages Naming, Holophrastic, Telegraphic, Morphemic Langsung saja, masuk pada materi Early Speech Stages Naming Holophrastic Telegraphic Morphemic Naming One Word Utterances Though still there is not exact time or any standardized justification about the time when the child start to say his or her first word but totally based on two basic conditions we can say they have learned their first word when they are able to utter a recognizable speech form when the utterance of recognizable speech be accompanied by some object or even in the environment using pa for papa even it may use incorrectly and all people would be pa the point that must be considered here is that because of variability in physical development mouth muscles the age of uttering the first word is variable between 4 months 18 months or some say it may happen at the age of 10 or 12 months at the same time the child is learning about the proper noun distractions and existentials holophrastic one word utterances the child is pointing to a shoe or say mama meaning the shoe belongs to mama that is there are some cases that the child used a single word to express the thought for which adult speakers will use a whole sentence such as cases are called holophrastic that express a whole sentence in o in one word or comprising of only one word that is used as sentence Telegraphic speech, two or three words utterances. The two or three word utterances may start around two years of age or so, based on what have been said on on the given table at the page nine. We can conclude that this type of utterance has some of its own characteristics variety of purpose question answer refuse and then complexity of the semantic relations agent action experience and then the high frequency of content words then the function words, noun sentence, verb sentence, adjective sentence, and then close approximation of the language, languages, word order, using my cup rather than cup my. Morphine acquisition. After this stage of telegraphic speech. The child is nearly moving toward developing his utterances, structures, and creating complete sentences. The child starts using and adding function words in addition the, to content words. He gradually 
gets familiarity with inflections such as a plural, plural as in cat and the in dogs. In other words, the child learns morphemes. Based on Roger Brown, the acquisition of function words and inflections or morphemes has a similar order in all children. This order is proposed at the page 12 with the focus on acquiring morphemes. Totally, the order of acquisition can be explained based on three variables. The first is of observ observability or reference of reference, meaningfulness of reference, and distinctiveness of the sound signal that indicates the reference. The first is of observ observability of reference. In this case, the presence of an object, situation, or event is essential for child, child learning. In other words, the more easily a child can see or hear or experience the reference, the more likely are such reference to be stored in memory. The second, meaningfulness of reference. This nation is based on the fact that the child will remember the more highly referent. That is, the referent objects, situations, and events that, is, that, that the child is in love with will be learned faster by the child. Last, distinctiveness of the sound signal that indicates their different for for learning a morpheme by a child if the sound distinction to be more involved so the learning of morpheme signal will be easier for example the copula B in what is it is more distinctive than in Mary's Hay. Itulah penjelasan dari Mary dalam speech status. Terima kasih sudah menonton video ini. Jangan lupa.